So Devin's got a great story. Um, mother of four. Yes, four, and a four girls. Now, mother of four, four girls, and a husband. No, no. <laughs> we split up, but that's so, okay. We're to have a better life, she actually wanted to go to school to do what? Um, so I wanted to go to school to be a surgical tech. My uh, main inspiration has been uh, my 15-year-old huh? daughter who has a lot, she has cerebral Wait, palsy. Yes. And so she's been my main inspiration definitely to be in the medical field. So let me tell you a quick little story. She was 40 surgeries away yes. from finishing her training when COVID hit and pandemic. Yeah. Everything shut down. But then at the end of the pandemic, when everyone started going back to school, guess what happened? Homeschooling. Yes. Then she really didn't want to go to school, to the hospitals, because she has a special needs immunocompromised daughter. Right, correct. But of being the perseverance she had in March 2022, she called, who was the person you called? So I actually called Maddie and I told her, I want to come back, I want to finish this. See, this is, really means something to me. And she actually really fought for me to be able to come back and finish the program. She came back, finished the program. Yes. Um, did you have to take the whole, um, oh, here's the other thing is when she couldn't come back in, her class graduated without her. Yeah. In addition, since she was a teen mom, she didn't graduate with the high school class. So exactly. this was a double disappointment. Yeah, absolutely. So she had to go back and finish term three or whatever? Yeah, so I just went back a little bit to get, um, you know, kind of a uh, refresher for everything. But the thing that was really awesome about when I came back, um, I really felt like I was a better student and they ended up selecting me to go to UCLA Santa Monica, which is yes. where um, Her father. Yeah, where my father got cancer treatments when I was nine years old and I told my mom at that time in my life that wait, I would wait, be- Wait, wait, let me say it. Okay. She told her parents that I want to actually be here to operate on people someday. Yeah. UCLA Santa Monica. Yeah, absolutely. So it was, it literally was a dream come true. Now, are you doing something else? Are you, um, what are you going to do now when you're done? So I'm actually thinking about possibly moving. Uh, my girls and I are kind of starting a fresh life and everything. So this was really important to me that I finish this so that wherever I go, I have this with me. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.